No idea. Okay. No idea. Um, do you get to hazard a guess? No idea anyway. I don't have a clue, I'm sorry. Uh, do you care to take a guess? At all? Well, obviously, something to do with chemistry, if that's what you're interviewing me about. But I really don't. Dalton. I've heard of Dalton Press, but apart from that, I don't know. Um, I guess it was somebody like Einstein, wasn't it? In, whenever that was, 1930s, wasn't it? No idea. Do, do you know, can you get a guess? <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah, no good guessing because I wouldn't know. I don't have any idea, sorry. Uh, again. Again, uh, probably about 1940. Um, isn't it the smallest um, particle of a particular um, chemical substance as opposed to a molecule which is made up of several? Yeah. No. No, not at all. I presume it's something singular, but I don't know why. Okay. John Dalton was a chemist from England, born in 1766 near Cumberland. As well as studying and discovering several things about colour blindness, he is best known among the scientific community for his pioneering work into atoms. His five point atomic theory, although partially incorrect, was revolutionary. This, I believe, was his main contribution to the world of chemistry. The five main points were as follows that elements are made of very small particles called atoms, atoms of the same element have the exact same properties, atoms of different elements differ, of this we know to be incorrect as we are now aware of isotopes which are two atoms of the same element but which contain different numbers of neutrons and so have different properties. Atoms cannot be created, subdivided or destroyed, this we know to be false due to nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Dalton, however, was correct in thinking they could not be created, subdivided or destroyed through chemical means as these are nuclear reactions. Dalton stated that atoms of different elements combine in simple whole number ratios when they form chemical compounds and that in chemical reactions atoms are combined, rearranged or separated. Dalton's theories massively influenced future study into atoms. To quote the Royal Society of Chemistry, his theory led the way into new fields of experimentation. Dalton's atomic theory was remarkable because atoms had not been studied since the Greek times. The Greeks had coined the word atom from atomos but their research had not extended past the idea that atoms were the smallest particle. Because of Dalton's atomic theory, several changes were brought about in the scientific world. Scientists began to understand chemical reactions much better. It is unfortunate, if we have seen, how little the public know of Dalton's theories, bearing in mind he had such an impact on the scientific community. Everyone knows who Darwin and Einstein are, yet not as many non-scientists know about Dalton. We combine 0.2 grams of magnesium with an excess of oxygen. We are trying to prove that magnesium when combined with oxygen has a simple whole number ratio as Dalton had stated. Um, so here the white gas you can see coming off is magnesium oxide. We were trying to keep it in there so we could measure it later to prove our experiment. Uh, every now and then, however, we had to lift off the lid in order to provide the reaction with more oxygen. Um, the white substance you can see there is magnesium oxide. You can see it's no longer burning with a bright white flame. Oh dear.